This is just a really cool thing. Um, it quite literally is edible. Um, I, I, to be honest, I'd rather definitely eat the farmer's dog food than eat this cornstarch insulation. <laughs> so I'm not gonna show you that part. Welcome to Unboxing Things. I'm Jesse Janae, your host in this wide world of packaging. We're gonna see what's in my mailbox today because we're gonna unbox a brand and talk only about the box because that's what we're passionate about. All right, I'm opening my box. I'm closing my eyes. Sometimes I decide to do that. It's a big one. It's a big one. Okay, ah! Ugh. My eyes are so closed. I don't know if that's helping me. Ooh, it's the farmer's dog. dog is human grade food for your pup, made fresh and custom for your dog's needs. I have a pup, his name is Flexo. This is going to come in handy for this episode because guess how this box was printed? Flexo, flexographic printing was a print method that makes a print that looks kind of like this. And flexographic printing is the dominant printing method in packaging. Simple observations about this box. It's craft color. I've got white printing on the craft. It can be kind of difficult to print white on craft because white ink is sometimes hard to make more opaque. You can sort of see the craft showing through, but I think that something that makes this graphic really interesting is you also see a little bit of the way that the ink pools at the edge of the printing plate. Think of a flexographic print as like a giant rubber stamp. Think about having a rubber stamp like this. Bam! Rubber stamp, the farmer's dog. But it's not a rubber stamp because that would be really manual. Instead, it's like a rubber stamp mounted on a big cylinder and this corrugate box runs underneath and the white ink is squished right on there. Because of that, you get a little bit of this edge. I think it looks really pretty. It actually kind of makes this print look a little bit more dramatic um, and it makes the text, the farmer's dog, pop out that much more. Fresh pet food, hashtag long live dogs. I like that, it's cute, and I think it also speaks to how much longevity your dog might get by eating this healthy. Other things going on. This box tells me that it's this side up because you don't want things rumbling around going the wrong way. If your dog doesn't love it, send it back, we'll eat it. What they're saying is that this food is so safe and so high quality that they can eat it and that they would eat it. This is what we in the biz call an RSC style box. RSC stands for regular, slotted, container. It's kind of what you might think of as a standard style box. It's got flaps, you need to tape it on the top, and you also need to tape it on the bottom. You've got some BMC box maker certificates down here. Um, you've also got, um, this is a sustainable, sustainable forest initiative SFI box, which means that we know where the paper came from to make this box. It has chain of custody information, and it was made ethically. I'm gonna slice this side open it, and what have we got here? There's some messaging right here on the interior flaps. I love the usage of a good flap print. What's so phenomenal about flap print? Let me tell you. First up, the fact that the flap is actually part of the outside surface of the box might sound counterintuitive. It looks like I'm looking at the inside of the box, but look, this is on one panel, so it means that you can do one color printing on the outside and you can print the flap right here so people see it as messaging. Very efficient usage of printing, right? You don't have to print the other side of the box. This box is not printed on the inside unless I can't see it yet. That means that this brand, Farmer's Dog, is using one-sided, one color print, but they're getting some messaging at you right here when you open the box. Now, it says keep cool, and it gives instructions for how to keep it cool, keep clean. We only use biodegradable, recyclable packaging materials. So they're giving you some information about how to recycle um, and also how to take care of the product itself. Okay, the next thing I see is the insulation. This insulation is biodegradable. There's a sticker right here. So I'm gonna open this up here. And the first thing I see is a couple really useful items before I get to my actual food. Let me check. <laughs> okay, all right, user error, folks. The first thing I see is they've actually given me a really cool container that I can presumably put some food in for my dog to make it kind of like a to-go container if I'm putting it in the fridge or taking it somewhere with me. There's also more information. I'm gonna come back to this. This is a pressed pulp um, kind of board, I believe, as well, which is cool. So I'm gonna come back. There's also a reusable tote bag. So I can put some of the food in here. Um, this is also mildly insulated, I believe. So I can actually put food in here, carry it around, and then 
then, of course, I get to the actual food itself. It's put into these packets and it comes frozen. Ava's beef recipe. Okay, here's where the truth comes out. We ordered this, not for Flexo, but for one of his friends, Ava. Sorry, Flexo. And then it gives you instructions. Feed Ava half pack per day. Packed with love on, and it says the date. It's really cool that it tells me the exact date this was packed on, who it was packed for, that it was packed with love, important, and also how much to feed my dog per day based on the information I put into my profile on the site. Okay, give me a second, bear with me. Now, when I get to the bottom of this box, there's a corrugate insert. Please do not touch the dry ice. There's actually dry ice in this package to keep everything really cold. This is what we call in the packaging biz a cold chain product because it actually has to remain cold from the time it leaves the distribution center at Farmer's Dog to the time you receive it and store it. And store it is really important because they have to put enough dry ice and enough insulation in here that it survives until you get home and put it into your refrigerator or freezer. The dry ice itself, it has its own plastic bag with a bunch of warnings on it um, to, and kind of information on how to dispose of it as well. This component, the box and the insulation are all really recyclable. So I can actually take the big bulk of what I'm carrying here and make sure it gets disposed of properly. I didn't reflect enough on this bag. This is really cool. I like that I can take this and put my food into the bag it has an insulated inside, and this is something I'm meant to keep, okay? So I don't need to throw this out. I'm um, actually be a big shame to do so because it's a really sturdy bag that I can use to store my food. I really like that in addition to all the practical packaging to make sure I receive the product safely, they're giving me something I can continue using. This is a container that I also received. And again, I think that I could put some food in here to take it maybe to the dog park or somewhere else I'm going with Flexo. Um, but there's also other information in here. The guide, better for them, easier for you. And there's a starting guide about welcoming me to the farmer's dog community. Dog food as it should be, healthier meals, personalized portions. Um, it's about transitioning your dog. Um, about a little bit of the history of the company, and then giving you support information so that you can make sure to reach out if you need any, anything else from them. Uh, and then of course, there's actually a packing slip in here as well. Uh, Ava, Ava's feeding schedule. Okay, I stand corrected. This is not a pack slip, this is about feeding um, my dog, and it actually gives me information about how much to feed and how to transition my dog from maybe another dog food to farmer's dog safely. This component is really cool because this is actually molded out of paper pulp as well. So this is fully recyclable, just like other paper products. And then this is marked uh, with plastic number one. So you can look up how to recycle this and make sure you do that to this component as well. If all of this packaging consideration and attention to detail is not already impressive, I wanna cover what we're dealing with with this installation. There's instruction here. Um, the foam is made of cornstarch and can safely dissolve in the sink. Uh, to dispose, cut and recycle the green liner. Run the foam underwater. Watch it melt like your heart when snuggling puppies. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't see that coming. All right, so I just opened this with my blade um, and I can then take out the cornstarch inner. And I'm just gonna do it for a portion here. So this green film will need to be recycled separately with plastics, but I can take this and I have a handy dandy cup of water here. Give me a sec. I'm gonna take a piece of this off to show you what happens. Okay, putting it in. Okay, and immediately just starts to dissolve. Do you watch that? Look, it's gone to nothing. The part that has been exposed to water is gone to literally nothing. Cornstarch is exactly how it sounds. We eat a ton of foods with cornstarch in them. I receive a lot of different products that have this kind of packaging because people are transitioning to it. It's a really cool material. There's also packing peanuts made out of this cornstarch that behave very similarly. Um, if you get this at your house, like obviously this is a fairly large sheet and there's more of it. Uh, if you have a big kitchen sink, just putting it in there and using the sprayer is really practical. I've also seen people kind of lay them on their garden, even use it um, as a piece of insulation there. And then of course, the next time it rains, it will literally just dissolve or you can use your hose sprayer and it'll dissolve it that way. But that's how safe it is. It doesn't, it's totally fine to be in your garden, on your lawn, around kids, anything. I think it's time to roll in the recap. There's a lot to love about farmer's dog packaging, but let's talk about my three key points here. 
Number one, it's instructional. They walk you through every step of how to serve the food to your dog, how to transition their diet, how to move the product around using the to-go container and the bag. There's lots of good tips in there. Second, it's responsible. This is a complicated product to ship. Cold chain and keeping a product frozen is really difficult, but I love how responsible they are in educating you about how to recycle every single component and also how to properly handle the product. Three, it's personalized. It is personalized but for your dog, paw, etc. You get it? Um, they're really putting love and attention into making sure that the formula is customized for your dog. There's little call outs about how to feed them, about how what their portion size is. It really takes attention and care into not just all dogs, but your dog. This has been the Farmer's Dog Unboxed.